Okie dokie. So, my computer just uh, crashed. Like, like It shut off completely. So, sorry about that. Uh, I think we're live now anyway on, uh, on Twitch and YouTube and Facebook and whatnot. So, uh, Josh is coming. So, that's nice. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. My computer just... I, I shut off Sonarworks and then... Zzz, it just crashed. Never had that before. But good to see that so many people online. We already have 30 people. Max, welcome. Nice you're here. He never misses an edition. So that's good. Uh, we have Josh Butler today, which is great. And um, yeah, last week I was supposed to have Alvaro, but he fell off his bike and he didn't look too good. So he's going to come next week. And um, then we have the announcement of the remix competition the week after for the Rob Pass remix competition. If you still want to join that competition, join the Lessons in Life Facebook group. There's um, uh, a chance you can win Ableton or you can win an advanced course at Lessons in Life or a release on Pursuit Records from Rob Pass, which is pretty cool. And uh, we're working on the next remix competition for the new year. So that's going to be awesome. And then um, then it's like Christmas and stuff. So we have a, a break. And in the new year, uh, we're going to kick off also with um, Hannah from Climate Smart. She's the the one that I donate the money to uh, for the masterclasses. You know, I do stuff for the planet. Uh, you actually do too. If you join the masterclasses or one of my courses, we, we give 5% to... Um, to Hanna, who is planting trees in Brazil. And next year, like early January, she's going to be on the show and tell us all about the project that she's doing there. Hey, Ben. Yes, Sonoworks. Yeah, man. Sonoworks crashed my system. <laughs> Watch out with Sonoworks and live streaming. I think because I was having so many things running and I was booting Ableton and Ecamm Live, where I stream with, and I don't know, Zoom, everything was running and it just shut off in the middle of the intro. So, yeah, that was pretty, uh, pretty scary. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. So, yeah, lots of cool stuff is coming up. And, um, yeah, Josh is going to take us through some of um, his tracks. Um, he has the, the latest release, the Sunday Sunset, and Get It Together. And um, they're really nice. We can actually listen to a bit of Sunday Sunset. And he will show us his, um, his Ableton project. Uh, we'll talk about the release that I'm doing on the label. I think it's dropping on Friday. Uh, it's the release that I'm doing together with Ari, my partner in crime, and uh, we're already working on a, a follow-up, so that is uh, that is cool. And um, hey, Roger, Roger, welcome. <laughs> Super nice. Happy to see it live. Yeah, this is live. You know, it's nice. Some people may be watching uh, all the episodes. I've got loads of episodes. There's one with Joko, with Tripping Jaguar, Nora Q, Ilke Klein. There are so many uh, nice chats that I had on here. Lucian Ford, our uh, Dutch legend. And, um, you know, it's nice just to check chat about um, how to make music and the whole thing about it. So let's listen to some of uh, uh, the new release of Josh, um, the sun Sunday Sunset. And uh, I'll get, when we're back, he'll be uh, he'll be online, I guess. Yes. Well, Josh is logging in, so he's going to join the call in a bit. Let's see if he's already uh, uh, he's still still tuning in. So, yeah, nice. Fran de Lou, thank you for tuning in. Great. It's nice. So I'm, I'm really curious to uh, to the story of uh, of the Sunday Sunset that we just listened to. Um, Josh said it's quite a complex uh, production, and uh, the other one is not. So we can uh, look at both of them, and uh, if you have any questions, you can ask them, of course. So... Um, it's nice. Ah, there he is. Let's move over to the other one. Hey, Fantasia, welcome online. Ah, Josh. Oh, it's dark there. Let me let me move to Zoom. Zip. Yo. 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 So let me split the screen. So uh, now. 
Yeah, yeah, you might you might want to put a light there. Yeah, let me put the bigger light on. Yeah, and let me change ah like this. Now you're just butler. Otherwise, people think that I'm just butler. <laughs> Great. Any better? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually worse. Is it is it really just butler? Okay, so you're not gonna believe this. Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm there, yeah, yeah. Man, my internet, <laughs> now my internet just, just it stopped the streaming, so I'm not sure if we're actually there. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, is nah. this the Ibiza studio? No, this is in in Holland. Yeah, so I'm oh, back. you're in Holland again. Yeah, I'm back in Holland. So I'm not sure. I think we're still live, though. I don't see any comments or reactions. Ah, man. Can can somebody let us know if we're still on air? Because I, I don't know. It said like I don't know. You sometimes you get you get everything at once. You know, computer broke down, internet's not working. Let's see, that should work. On air, you're on. Yes, yes. Thanks. Whew. Whew. Well, three times the charm. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> nice. There's many people out here. Great. So, Josh, uh, thank you for taking the time to uh, through all the technical difficulties here. <laughs> in the worries. Yeah, so how are you doing? Yeah, pretty good, man. Yeah. Very chilled day. Um yeah, not a lot going on to be honest. Um I've literally just turned the studio on now. This is the first time all day that the studio's been on. Yeah, but you were busy yesterday, right? With uh or was it the day before? Yeah, I think the day before you when you were recording. I've been trying to do a bit of recording each day um no matter what time of day it is at least like get 20 minutes in so yeah. i can say i've done something you know tick something off <laughs> yeah it's also good it's good for the, the for the brain man keep that mojo going i'm actually into uh learning to play by ear so i'm doing all these interval trainings it's ridiculous this is website music theory.com and you can listen to intervals so in between i learn intervals and it's interesting how your brain just learns and recognizes more intervals as you practice but i'm trying to keep that up every day as well you know i think this habit thing is really good you know practice too. makes perfect that's it uh <laughs> in, in dutch you say oefening baart kunst <laughs> i know you, you like the dutch so oefening baart kunst I, i'm not going to try and pronounce that <laughs> that would be great <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah actually the french say uh petit à petit l'oiseau fait son nid Bit by bit, the bird builds its nest. It's pretty beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. It's different than we say. Oh, you go to practice and you'll be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's much more elegant. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, man. I just played the the Sunday Sunset track. So it would be nice if we can uh, have a little uh, peek in that later on. And uh, the get it together, man. I was bouncing on this one uh, <laughs> before we started. Oh, he sent me the best <laughs> video. <laughs> <laughs> me like ah, having a great time in the studio. Yeah, it's, man, it's it sounds like a real classic sort of uh, vibe, you know? Is it also where you were going after when you were making it? Did yeah, it just... well, a lot of it, to be honest, is um, is from samples, that one. As, as I explained to you off air, Yeah. Uh, Sunday Sunset became quite an in-depth complicated project and everything in that one is original yeah um, whereas the other one get together is very very simple i think it's about four you know, maybe maybe six channels in in that project and a lot of it's samples oh cool yeah um i managed to get my hands on these old school like 90 sample packs that yeah a lot of the jungle producers were using and i was just playing around with that really and um and then it came together yeah, yeah. Now sometimes it's it's like that, you know. If you have a, I have like a whole bunch of. I I think I have the same ones because somebody posted them in the lessons in live group a, a while ago. You know, not there sure. you go. You could probably remake that whole track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, is it dead easy? Well, we can we can never look uh, later on. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, I really like the different vibe of both of them, you know. And um, I think uh, the Sunday Suns is it like feel good feel good which it's something that people need at the moment you know to feel good you know I, yeah I noticed... yeah that was written during the lockdown actually yeah uh, with, with show me yeah the, the, the singer on it she's a girl i met in la um she, she's a resident dj at sound in la actually oh cool uh, but she seems to be doing a lot more vocals at the moment yeah so um she's got a wicked voice man man i listened Sorry. to uh something on what was it astral works or something i was i was checking out her stuff yes. 
Yeah, that's it. She just released the track with Astral Work. Yeah, super nice tune, man. And um, so I went into how do you say it? Show me, show me. Is it like a? Yeah. Is it like um? How do you call it when it's short? Of course, thing an abbreviation. An abbreviation. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, somebody's calling me. Bye. Oh. <laughs> I think what's 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 up now? Now it starts to crackle. <laughs> what's going on, universe? It must be Mercury in retrograde, right? That's what people say then, you know. But uh, so since the last time we spoke, you have uh, sent me about. You've sent me a few tracks, um, but we've signed a few of them to Origins, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, and I'm super excited, man. It's like eternally grateful for this uh this release and it's, hey good music speaks for itself you know yeah no it's i'm happy you say that man yeah it was funny because i sent it i think last year around this time in november i just thought you know i'm gonna take two weeks off of the teaching and make some music and i made like four tracks and i thought you know what i'll send it to josh see if he wants to play it you know because back then we could still play music and you said hey you know i'd like to sign this and then we worked on those tracks and then we changed them and then i think we made like uh i think only falling uh remained and we made two new ones because i then teamed up with ari and it's like you know what you know let's do this together and uh yeah i'm really happy man um yeah I, you played the one in the beatport show ari called me like hey, hey he's playing the track super yeah. nice maybe we should listen to one of them so uh which one should we play first schwarzenegger fall i think the schwarzenegger is is the one mate because yeah. it's so different but the schwarzenegger it's such a, <laughs> it's such a cool blend of yeah. like minimal house but almost like hard house and and trance and a lot of the stuff that patrick topping plays yeah yeah that kind of new new ravey stuff yeah it's very ravey yeah, it's, a, it's just a wavetable patch or i made it with like i don't even know i can go to the maybe go to the the project later on as well it's just a um a wavetable um uh patch i built on on wavetable it's it's like it's, it really has this like sort of like ravey kind of haunting vibe so yeah let's let's just play this thing you know we'll be right back after this <laughs> Nice, yeah, yeah. Serious groover, Roger says. And, um, oh, Christian is asking, is it possible to have Josh promo mail? Do you have a special promo yeah, mail? So the, the demo email is Origins Records, which is abbreviated to RCRDS at gmail.com. Oh, sorry, Origins Records Demos. <laughs> <laughs> Origins Records, abbreviated uh like it like it is on the logo and it, demos is it is it on uh on your facebook page maybe the, the i think it is yeah 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 i'm gonna be checking them over the next few weeks because i've got a lot of time on my hands yeah yeah um, nice and there must be a lot of music floating out there right now everybody was inside up upgrading you know so i think it's it's gonna be a great time for demo so and um uh so me right yeah it's uh uh what's her name so so me s-o-m-h I. Yeah, she's Korean originally. Yeah, so somebody asked who is that LA resident DJ. That's uh, Somi. She's a great singer also. Nice. Hey, Joko's online. Gezellig. Yes, Joko. <laughs> Joko. <laughs> yeah, nice. It's always like a, such a nice gathering here, you know? It's great. <laughs> How did you come up with the title, uh, Somi? You know, it's it's like not from Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's from uh, the Schwarzenegger, this uh, plugin that <laughs> Henrik Schwartz made. And, uh, oh, man, it gave me a hard time, though, because at some point I sent the track 
uh, I sent like the master or the free master to Josh, and then it actually became uh, the the baseline was like in a different key because of the Schwarzenegger. So it was quite of a, a journey, but I managed to get. Yeah, it. <laughs> I've been playing with it since since you told me about it, uh, and it can be a little bit unpredictable at times. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had exactly the same. So yeah, I think it's it's spelled differently though. But I liked it, the Schwarzenegger. So <laughs> yeah, it's different. It's difficult. I don't know. Sometimes it does something because this little brother that you have makes it sort of um, yeah, makes it sort of uh, it, it it it's depending what what the original one does that what the little brother does, and apparently it's just really weird sometimes. So it does. You don't know what keys. It's, I haven't it's, played around with the little brother. Yeah, yeah, because that's that's the one you suppose. So if you have the Schwarzenegger on one, like for instance, your lead melody, then you can put the little brother on your bass, and it will it will make sure that the notes you play there, you can play anything, and it will always put it in it in the key. It's a sort of a scalar kind of thing, but I found it confusing. I don't know. Sorry, Henrik, if you're looking, if you're watching, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I did, <laughs> but I did name the track <laughs> after your device. So. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'm super, super happy with this release. And actually, Ari and me are already working on, on more music now. You know, it really sparked also in me just to take some time off teaching and, and go back in, in making my own music, you know. And um, yeah. yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's nice to actually get on it more. Are you still, do you still do this, um, this ambient? Uh, you had this like uh, alias, right? Where you did this more ambient kind of stuff? Yeah, Norwood. Yeah. It's, it's been a bit quiet, to be honest. I, I finished, I say quiet, like I finished an album f for it earlier <laughs> this year, like at the start of lockdown. Yeah. I've been working on this album project f for like two, maybe three years. Wow. And um, I just never got around to mixing it and, and finishing it. And uh, yeah, when we started the pandemic, uh, I just got really stuck into it. And since then, I've had some time off from that project. Yeah, but I'm, I bet we're going to be hearing more from that because, yeah, you know. Mate, there's a lot of half-finished yeah. yeah. projects lying around for that. So yeah. it's a slow burner, but it's still going. Maybe when, maybe when you're in New Zealand, you, you'll find headspace for it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think so. And I'm just going to have a lot of time on my hands at the beginning as well. I've got to do two weeks in quarantine. Yeah. When I arrive, yeah, you're gonna be stuck in a hotel room, you know, for two weeks. So that's uh, that's pretty cool to to make some music, you know, yeah, man. or learn, little learn little video thing. editing, like uh, like my friend Kimber. <laughs> he, he went he went for he went back to Australia and he just created like a whole every day a movie, redecorated the whole hotel room every day, would put the bed somewhere else. It's so funny. <laughs> so he became like a video master in two weeks. So people, if you're watching, make make most of your quarantine every time, you know. So, uh, does just plan on showing us anything upset with his workflow? Well, yes, um, of course. And also, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, the workflow is so different. Like I was saying earlier, the, the latest EP, the, the two tracks on there were made in completely different ways. Sunday Sunset was, a, was what I would call a proper project where um, I've used a lot of hardware and mixed it with all my hardware and the, and the older one get together because the old samples and already quite raw yeah yeah um, i didn't feel like it needed too much processing so kept it you know pretty simple yeah well sometimes that's what is needs you know and it's cool to see that the difference between the two you know and uh yeah these these old loops i have a lot of these old classic loops and uh they, they sound super raw because they're probably came out of like an MPC or like a, like an SP1200, something like this, you know? So they probably are uh, are just really, really, really raw anyway. And you don't want to mess too much with it because you lose the, the essence, I guess, you know? Of, of, uh, exactly. Yeah. And so with Sunday Sunset, I felt like it, it was my job to, to make it more raw and try and like really fuck it up a bit more. <laughs> <Yeah>. So it <laughs> wasn't as clean, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. Well, I'm, I'm curious to, to get in there. Uh, also, you're working, you mentioned uh, yesterday when we spoke a bit that you were working on this uh, tool room um, uh, sample pack, right? Which is yeah, coming. Man. Yeah. When Which has been really nice, actually. It's, it's been fun to focus on a different way of recording. So I'm um, obviously not finishing tracks. I'm just making loops, lots of drum loops, bass lines, yeah. melodies, using all my hardware. Yeah, cool. And linking things in ways that I probably wouldn't normally do. So, like, I'm getting a bit more creative with it, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, because then you, you just think like, hey, I, I need to make like a really weird sample or something. I really want to f- fuck this up, so to speak, you know, and get like, get some nice change going, you know, get it to the fatso. You have the fatso, right? And uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, nice. Oh, man. And uh, the the culture vulture, that's nice to have laying around, you know. <laughs> yeah, so everything's getting recorded through those, as well as a drama 1960. Oh, yeah, yeah, the drama. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I've recently, we uh, when I was with Arini Studio, they had this Strymon uh, reverb laying there. Wow, man, that's insane. A Strymon reverb, it's, uh, we put it on the Uno 106 and it sounded awesome, you know. If you're, so if you're going to buy a nice external reverb, this, the Strymon is, uh, is the go-to one. It's great, great. Right, I haven't seen that one. It sounds insane. Really, it's a bit like the Eventide kind of stuff, but then, I don't know. I was going to say, I've, I've actually got this uh, kind of wired in, but I'm going to move the laptop and show you. Ooh. It's called the H9. It's a, a guitar pedal. TC Helicon or so, or what is it? Uh, Eventide. Eventide also, yeah. yeah. Organizer, apparently. Nice, yeah. Um, yeah, some pretty cool reverbs on there if you, you know, fancy an external reverb. Yeah, it's nice. They just for, I think the interface is, I have this uh, uh, Chaos Pad, like the three, and um, and it's nice to just to use the reverbs in there and then just get some stuff through it and get really nice sort of reverbs. I used to make a lot of dub, on there you know this dub that i made a few years ago is really like yeah. all through this guy it's really nice to have and it's nice you just move some buttons it's just different you have this little pad there it's, it's nice to interactive isn't it yeah you know that's it it makes it more fun uh, i think you know cool what sample pack somebody said <laughs> what sample pack yeah so when is the two room sample pack coming is it uh, anytime soon or I actually don't know. I don't know when it's going to be released. I guess it depends when I finish it, <laughs> which I'm hoping is before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you got work to do. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Nice. Um, cool. So um, let's, shall we dive into a project? Of course. Um, so it's... it's probably going to be easier for me to show you, get it together because it's on this computer yeah yeah cool uh, let me this one is on the other one let me play the next uh which one should we do falling or do what you like in between the next origins release coming on friday uh play do what you like do what you like yeah because that's yeah. what we're doing right okay and in the meantime we'll set up this whole thing <laughs> Yeah, so here we go. Boom, there's there's Josh's computer. Glad oh, you... so you, you mean in, in preferences, right? Yeah. Zoom audio device. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. I'm not sure if people yeah, let me let me get rid of yeah, let me put this here. Let's see. Um, okay. So uh we have some questions also. Josh Butler is an amazing producer, always the best grooves. What VST do you recommend for bringing variations to stabs and vocals, like in the right time? Ooh. Wow. That's serious, <laughs> serious question. Just all with uh, Ableton's built-in things, really. Yeah. Yeah, man. Effects, yeah. All, all the effects, um, different filters. Yeah, pay pay attention, Dufus. We're gonna go right into a project, so uh, it's gonna be gonna be great. And let's see. Um, where do we start? Drums. Uh, yes. Let's. Uh, ooh. <laughs> nice. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. I think the people can hear it as well. Uh, yeah. If I miss your question, maybe you should uh, ask it later as well. There's quite a lot of people asking questions, so. <laughs> no worries. Um, 
Yeah, like I said, this is a pretty simple one compared to Sunday Sunset, which I would like to show you, but it's on the other computer. Oh, yeah. Ah. There's no webcam on that. Yeah. So um, this no. is going to have to do. This is fine. <laughs> but, yeah, as you can see, yeah. I'm not doing an awful lot there, really. Like, all the, the drum hits, Ableton um, 8 EQ. Yeah. What's on the drum bus? Oh my god! There isn't even anything on the drum bus. Is this the the final project, man? <laughs> I, I don't it's know. It's unusual for me. I, yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah. It just goes to show you, you know, you can spend time with all these expensive plugins and and whatever. But yeah, I, I do see. I do see. Really. I do see like uh, uh, like the pull tech from Waves there. The pre yeah. So there's a couple of things on this. Yeah, yeah, for the rides and stuff, you know, the nasty stuff. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah and this wide, I actually never ever even normally use this, but I must have just been playing around. Oh, it's a preset from the phaser, I think, you know. Uh, uh yeah, yeah. The phaser, yeah, right. Man, do, have you seen Ableton 11? Not yet, dude. That they are, they have like the a new the phaser. There's a doubler. There's a chorus and an ensemble. They they mixed all these together. There's and there's this spectral thing, which is ridiculous. You, you're gonna love that stuff, you know. Good. You know all this Ableton stuff is pretty good. You know you don't need much more actually. If you you know of course it's nice to have like more stuff and the tantra that uh, Joko um, uh, mentioned uh, last time is insane. That's a great plugin, but you can already do a lot with uh, with Ableton stuff. You know distract proves it i guess you know it's true you know it, 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 honestly like i said this is, it's not often that i i get tracks that are this simple but um they usually w when they happen you know it's 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 kind of like meant to be yeah i think so too <laughs> yeah yeah and it's even nice. the uh the send effects you know sometimes i'll have like six or seven different send effects yeah um and this one's just this just two different ones with the standard ableton <laughs> this is so cool to see just like the standard ableton template when you open yeah. it up you just were like you know fuck it i'm just gonna make something super i'm just gonna have fun make something easy and then it ended up to being a really cool track for for the exactly. next release you know and, you know especially if i'm on the road this is how i'll be working within the laptop and then i'll bring the projects home and um and mix them on the proper computer yeah yeah because somebody was asking also where is it like your your um workflow if you take everything in the in the um, uh yeah what you're working let's see uh where is it? i lost this oh bart <laughs> uh, bart vml greetings from your biggest fan in the netherlands Ooh. what a legend yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice one. yeah so, so oh yeah what's your approach to recording everything to the DAW? um because you have a uh, what sound card do you use for this actually i'm using a. Uh... A Fireface 800 is the main one. Yeah. As the, so I've got like uh, eight ins and outs on there. And then I've got a second um, second interface. It's not a full sound card, but it's like, uh, it's just inputs and outputs basically yeah. from Behringer. Yeah. Always and works. that links with the Fireface. Ah, so that great. just gives me loads more inputs to play with. Yeah. And so you could, you could basically sequence everything hardware and record everything into your DAW if you'd want yeah yeah yeah, yeah it gives me a lot of options yeah do you have a patch bay as well to patch stuff through yeah yeah, yeah. exactly i always find these things confusing man patch bays because <laughs> yeah, you have this still you know even though i wired it all in myself i still get confused <laughs> yeah because you have these three settings you know and it's like i have one upstairs as well i haven't been using my hardware for ever since i moved into this studio but you know it's ridiculous sometimes you go like okay wait so if i plug this here and you're like really you have to go over it it's like where is it really going it's really funny how this works <laughs> okay so um yeah and i saw some top loops in there so do you do you i'm, I'm a big um advocate of, of structuring your loops you know every year i go through all my sample packs that I've got it over the 23 years I've been making music. And I like to make like a selection of my favorite loops. So instantly I can like, get these loops. Do you work similar way in organization wise or? 100%. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, you just create folders of 
your favourite loops over the years. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of different layers in this. Have a listen. I love this one. That's it. There's another break. And then it just builds, you know, just congas, more hi-hat loops. Yeah. Cool. Very similar thing in this as well. Lots of layers. Yeah, you know it's nice though. You know it's I actually I, I still have this track. I have to look it up. I start. I also have a track that I uh, just started with a classic house loop, and I was like, oh, you know the the one that you really got like, oh them days you know and you just build some hi-hats on it and you go like wow you know it's it can be that easy sometimes you know i just want uh, yeah i want to say as well that there's an unusual amount of layers in this i think other tracks it, it, every track is different you know it it all really depends sometimes it will just have one hi-hat layer straight from the tr8 or something yeah um you know, it's just fun to experiment and play around with different workflows. You know, that guy asking about the workflow. Yeah. I think it's different every time for me. Yeah. Or almost. It's never the same. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good because, you know, if your workflow is different every time, you, you learn actually. You get different results. Otherwise, you end up with the same thing mostly. The so same I think track. it's good to, to yeah, explore man. and use hardware and not use hardware. You know, it, it's nice to, uh, to, to do this all. So. Um, wow, there's a lot of questions uh, already on here. Good stuff, keep them coming. Yeah, so uh, Joko says you should try to get Dean Anthony's ass to make some tracks again. I know you're. Hey, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. <laughs> he used to make some wicked records. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so get get him um, get him on the label. <laughs> uh, yeah, Josh, I haven't what... spoken to him for a few years actually. I don't know if he's still making music or what. Hey, so, okay, Dean, if you're watching. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking that everybody's watching. <laughs> 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 you know, Hendrik Swartz watching <laughs> Teen Anthony. <you> know, <laughs> everybody's watching. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, so Josh, let me ask you a serious question. James Quigley wants to know, what's your perfect Sunday? Quigs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, James Quigs. <laughs> perfect, perfect Sunday. Um... <sighs> Okay, now, man, it's a good question. Probably uh, <laughs> still awake from the night before, sat around a fire, <laughs> a few beers. <laughs> sharing, sharing stories about producing. <laughs> <laughs> it's super funny. Yeah, but you, you go out a lot, right? In um, near Wangton, you go out a lot. I see, because I always go here, I go to the sea, you know? And yeah. I post a picture on my Instagram, like, hey, guys, I'm at the sea. <laughs> and I see you always, like, you're always, like, in nature where there's a boat coming by or, you know. Yeah, man, I need to get out of the house yeah, at least it. once a day. Yeah, you know? it's it's pretty healthy also because I was working here. I've, I've made quite long days now because it's it's really going well with lessons in life and I want to make music and do all these things. And at some point my roommate asked, dude, have you been out today? I was like, no. So today I actually went to the sea. Like, you know, what am I doing? I've been here since 10 in the morning. It's like four o'clock. It's, you know, normal people <laughs> have a break. So I went out to just have a chill. Yeah. All right. So um, let's see. Oh, somebody, uh, Jordan says uh, you need to work together with Joko. Why not do a collab? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, so, so he's actually got a remix coming out on the label. Yeah. Uh, we pushed it back. It was meant to be out already, but we've, uh, we've, push it back to next year because we think it's more of a summer record ah yeah 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 but and hopefully you guys peel for that first yeah nice so there's more joko coming that's always great and also the, the he did a remix also of this other track right the pim 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 pm yeah that's yeah. the one i'm talking about oh it's not it's not out yet okay it's I, not out so we're oh, gonna put it out next year ah so you kept the remix back yeah. ah i already have it <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like it you know i also like the original man it's really i really like the track you know with the vocals it's it's great you know so i've done a version of that myself as well ah, we're, so, i think we're going to re-release the original along with the two remixes nice that's great I, i'm looking forward to hearing yours as well <laughs> um let's see okay um is it possible to show some of your secret ableton building bass steps pad well <laughs> guy wants to see everything with operator and bass do you have any um, 
secret Ableton built-in uh, stuff that you use? Or do you actually use your user library? Uh, um... Since, yeah, since you put me onto the user library, yeah, I use it only for templates at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I've got like a master in preset or te template. I've got a template for my mixer and hardware and stuff. Yeah, nice. So actually, for the different workflows, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I have the templates as, as well. You know, in 10, you had to make the folder, but in 11, it's going to be, you can save it as a template, and then it it adds, it templates is being included now in your uh, in your uh, library, as well as the, the, the group box, which is nice, actually. They changed the layout a bit, and uh, it's weird that for templates, m most people don't even know that you can... Uh, can create templates if you create a template folder in the the library. So do you have some some devices that you save? Because I also save a lot of devices so, or, or return channels that I like to save it for my template. I've got like six or seven return channels, like three reverbs and four delays, seven return channels actually. Um, I need to start doing this. It's great because it's I also don't think there's anything saved in here apart from templates. Yeah. Um, ah, you get the rosser also. Yeah, yeah. Maybe something in there. Uh, I have saved a couple of channel strips. I'm trying to think where they might be. I think in user library and then in, uh, I have in user library, I have channels, basically. I don't know. I've made a folder called channels, but made a folder. Maybe, maybe I, I need to get more organized with this. Yeah. Well, um, well, you, can book, you can book a session a with quick, me. A quick <laughs> operator thing that I've been yeah. using over the years. Yeah. Just book a session with me, Josh. Uh, <laughs> 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 So operator, yeah, this is um, this is great for bass lines. Yeah, yeah, I really like this, you know. And also, I use this like uh, algorithm where it's like a square, uh, like a, you have the four. Uh, it's like FM synthesis, so you have the they, they put it in more of a square kind of thing, uh, where you have the C and A are the are the, the sounds, and and B and D are the modulators. And then I just use a is square it this thing? at the bottom. Yeah, so the algorithm I changed it to that square guy, the that nice. one. Yeah, and then you have like the C and B. Uh, B I make for A I make a sine wave, and C I make a a square wave, and then you can really get like the the nastiness from the square with the roundness of the su of the sub of the of the sine. I really like this. Operator, yeah, man. Yeah, so many possibilities with FM synthesis. Yeah, yeah. So it's... many different routing possibilities. Yeah, I also like FM8 from Native, but it's so the, the interface is just nah, I don't like it. You know, uh, Native okay. Instruments, if you're watching. Uh, I don't like the interface of FM8. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it back to this vertical one. Um, I always like to just decrease the decay a little bit. I'm just gonna plug this in one second. Yeah, I like to keep a, a lot of these sh quite short. So this, this is the second operator. Um, so at the moment, just one is playing on a sine wave. And I'm going to slowly increase the second. And you start to hear more top frequencies coming through. Yeah, yeah. The more, the more operators you add, the more frequencies. Yeah, gives so much more character. Is that, is that my whatsapp or is that yours oh do you hear that yeah it's mine let me turn it off my roommate just came home and he's thanking me for the mushroom soup <laughs> yeah man <laughs> so therefore everything went wrong because i'm tripping my balls off people <laughs> let's see let me go back to you uh i fucking love you <laughs> <laughs> where is the where is the, okay yeah we're back so sorry guys just <laughs> just uh, just had a little chat with my my roommate oh, oh yeah, we online yeah yeah so yeah now i turned off uh because i've got this uh this france app and then you hear ding ding i remember also from my first show so i didn't know how to turn off this tick every time somebody would like add a um uh, and a comment, you know, let me also delete this or move this just butler around because otherwise we can't see what you're doing. So boom, just butler. There we go. Great. Okay, dokie. So, um, yeah, great. I do the same thing with the, with the sub, uh, with the, the operator. Just if you have a sign and you add the other one a little bit, adds a bit more character. And actually, yeah. uh, how do you, how are you with drum bus? I use drum bus on everything, you know, on like on my kick and bass channel. I, I grew up. Oh, really? It. Yeah, yeah it's it's pretty powerful. It's insane, you know. And actually, um, 
Uh, I know a lot of people that are really hardware freaks. They love drum bus, but it's easily, you always got to watch it. It's not going to be louder, you know, because it makes everything just loud. But if you make it actually like, uh, not that it's louder, then it sounds, you know, they can really, really hear what it does tona tonality wise, you know, sort of. So, um, but it's, it, it's really. Let's, let's try it out. Let's put it on this. Yeah, yeah. It's, Let's try a few plugins, you know, because yeah. like I was saying, Ableton's are, are very powerful. So let's mute this. Let's get a, a, a nice sort of preset. I'm going to change the octave slightly and start to increase it. Old school hard house donks. Come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, drum boss. Let's play around. Yeah, and this crunch. Yeah. Already, I, you know, I've not even touched it yet, and it's added a little bit of weight. Yeah, and this boom is, is, is insane. I usually have everything around 20%, something, or, like, just a bit less, and then I just play with the dry wet to make sort of like a parallel. It's, it's really nice. I, I love the drum bus, man. I put it on my heads group, on my drum group, also on my music group sometimes, just to add this yeah. sort of drive. It's a great saturator. Yeah, it's a great saturator. It's probably a good idea just to mix it in a little bit as well, and it just rather than have the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because could be a nice, yeah. This could be a nice feature to add sub bass. It's so nice, yeah. Yeah, and actually you can tune this up, you know, there uh, just below you see the the note that the, the frequency has, and if you click it, it snaps to the one uh, adjacent. So it's really nice. I like this thing. Yeah, yeah. It's great. I love um, drum bus, man. It's and another thing that I really enjoy, actually, is this erosion. Yeah. This is pretty sweet. How do you use it with the white noise uh, thing? Yeah, any, you know, it depends what sound it is. Just, again, mix it up. The sign alone is pretty nice. Yeah, it's nice. I actually never use, I use the white noise to make it super wide, but this is pretty cool. Yeah, I will use this um, on hi-hats and, and snares and stuff. I think I have this on my uh, drum, uh, Electron Machine Drum also has a sort of like one yeah, knob that adds erosion, I think. <laughs> you know, it has yeah. this, nye, nye, but it's nice to add this little bit. So you use it on snare and hi -hats. nice to make them a bit more. Yeah, you can use it, use it on drums, um, even you know, use it on anything, you know, to really get creative with these things. Yeah. Oh, we have Stephen Shoemaker here. He says, nice. What's yes, up, Stephen. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Yugo is also here. Yugo also San Diego goes. repping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's from San Diego, yeah? Yeah, Wow, yeah. we got people from uh, South Africa, San Diego. Nice. There's a bunch of people watching. We got 47 people. That's crazy. Nice, man. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of questions also. Groove tips. Yeah, well, for this, this project, I guess the groove comes mostly from the loops that you've used, so it's not it's hard yeah. to, to, to... You know what? I'm going to just start a new, uh, a new project and yeah, it's also nice. Aaron Volta also did this uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> Super nice. He, he, I think I should do that more. Just like, hey, guys, let's make a track. I actually, oh, for the people watching, on Monday, I'm going to do a masterclass. Uh, I'm going to produce a house track. And you can join. It's on the lessonsinlife.com slash events. It costs a bit of money. But it's 15 bucks and five bucks goes to the forest in Brazil. So if you want to learn something and help the planet at the same time, join me. That's nice. It's a three-hour masterclass, so I think it's it's nice to follow. I should I should get people to do this, you know, maybe invite some guests to join me for this masterclass, and we can do it together. It's great. So uh, I'm just gonna get some simple sounds in, right? Yeah, yeah. Go on. I use, I use this a lot. This search feature. Yeah. Uh, it's Ooh. gonna be all sorts, but I want a closed heart. Yeah, it's nice to uh, to use it. And also, like, the library, you know, you can make it really small. I, I never used that. I should do that more. Let's just chuck some sounds in. Yeah, it's cool to work like this. We get a live, live workshop here. <laughs> <Super nice. laughs> it's so nice to do this, man. This show went from just me making music to inviting all people and just having fun online, you know? What else is there to do, you know? So we're on about grooves and how yeah. to get grooves and, yeah. and swing. So I'm going to get like a, a pretty structured hi-hat so there's something to work around to begin with. 
Right, let's close that a little bit. Okay. I'm actually going, I'm going to do it the other way. Okay, so so let's give this higher one a little bit of swing. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold Command on on a Mac, and then it removes the grid. And I'm just going to just swing it a bit. Just put it on 16 so we know where we are. We're going to need a kick drum as well, otherwise yeah, it's, yeah. Going to sound, it's going to sound weird. I actually always do the same. I always have like a, a six. I need the 16. I know exactly how it's going to sound. I always tell my students as well, put it on 16. Ooh. That was weighty, wasn't it? Let's go with that. Yeah, yeah, that, that one really liked, you know. Ooh. So we've got a kick drum, 16th kick, 16th hi-hat. And now we create that a groove, um, add some swing into it. Oh. Nice. I'm just going to sit back and drink my wine. Yeah, and just, just swing it, you know, because... Um, for me, I like things that sound a little bit off, you know, yeah. and wet, wet, swung a lot, I think, quite uh, natural, and it's yeah, like it's a natural recording. It sounds weird always when I say this, but I see you're a manual swinger. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so uh, but do you ever use the groove pull? <laughs> no, 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 never. You know, I yeah. know about it and yeah. uh, have, have tried and played with it in the past, but yeah. I always do it. You know, it works well. the, way, the way I do it. It's yeah. just, um, well, a it's... lot of the time when I'm recording the machines as well, yeah. I'm using the swing knob or the swing settings. And On the electribes. So, sorry, say again. On the electribes, because you also have the electribe, right? The the That's blue it. one, or, yeah. Uh, because, and also the, the tier eight has the swing, yeah. Oh, <laughs> these... Yeah, I know Darius also has these ones. Um, uh, Darius Russian also has these electribes. I think he's been Who? using uh, Darius Russian. He's been using these. <laughs> I'm only messing. <laughs> Who, who's this guy? <laughs> yeah, is, you know this guy also makes house music. <laughs> no, but he's he's been using these a lot, and I know that uh, that Ion Ludwig. Well, what do you think about this more minimal stuff like uh, Ion Ludwig? Do you know do you know him? He's a Dutch guy. I don't, man. No, oh, but man. I love that minimal sound. Oh, you should check him out. This guy, is, he's a wizard from Holland, really into the minimal stuff. And he has, I think, also two of these. Uh, he's got the blue and the the uh, pink one, I believe. I'm not sure anymore. It's been a long time. But it's... it's I think the, they're like essentially the same machine. Yeah. Uh, and you can put your own sounds on it as well. It comes with like this... I don't know where it's gone. Oh, here we go. Smart media. It's like before wow. an NFT card. Wow. <laughs> it's huge, man. That's clever. I'd say this is in between the floppy disk and the SD card. Wow, that's that's some classicness there. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Wow, but, you know, and these things you can still the, the people really, really swear by these electribes, man. They have a really nice swing, and you can actually um, you can send that swing to other um, devices as well. You can actually swing your tier eight with the swing of the electribe, I guess. You know, through the MIDI. Yeah, yeah, um, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Powerful machines. You know, they're old now. You can pick them up for relatively cheap second hand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it could sound great. Yeah, and the valve cheaper and the... than a TR um, than a nine oh nine anyway. Yeah, yeah, I would never get a nine oh nine now. You know, it's just, I don't know. Only if I'm super rich, you know. But still, I did. I did do a few years ago. I bought one off eBay. Yeah. For way too much money. Yeah. Um, and then ended up selling it again because it just didn't we didn't use it enough really. You know, it got all the sounds on a computer. Yeah, yeah. It sound. You know, I'm not sure if it, if I I'm not sure if I blindfold somebody. And I play a um, a core kit from Ableton with enough saturation and, and distortion on it, and then play a uh, play the, the real 909. Would people really hear the difference? How many people would say yes? This is the 909, <laughs> you know. And the problem with the problem with it as well was is it was a little bit unreliable. You know, it wasn't in the best quality. Yeah. When I bought. Yeah, she called Def Mills. Say like, "Hey man, can I buy your nine hundred nine? He probably has ten. <laughs> signed by Jeff Mills. Yes, yeah, signed by Jeff Mills. Yeah, it should work. That makes your track great. All right, question for y'all: How important is the mix down? Does mixing as you go along make a big difference compared to setting uh, a session aside for it? 
Well, Jordan, that is an amazing question. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you think, uh, Josh, since you're the guest? <laughs> yeah, um, I think I've, I, I do it both ways again. Like sometimes if the track sounds great and I'm in a sounds great easily, should I say, yeah. and it's coming together easily and I'm like really in the mood for creating and I'm in a flow with it i'll leave the mix until the end and write the whole track yeah. first yeah. otherwise if I, I find if it's not coming together as easily i'll maybe it might be called procrastinating as well and like start tweaking with eqs and hoping that things are going to fit better yeah yeah i think uh yeah if you i think what i'm trying to say is if you don't have to mix it from the get-go you're onto something good pretty good yeah it's, yeah you know, if it sounds good in the beginning yeah, I think so too. You know, if if uh, if you if you're mixing and producing at the same time, you're basically combining two tasks, and you know, calling your mother and 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 cleaning the house doesn't really work because you're probably not listening to your mom if you're working on this spot there to clean. You know, I, that's what I usually say in my my <laughs> classes. You know, it's something like this: you can't do two things at the same time. You know, and uh, if you want to make a track, it's nice to stay in the flow and really work on the arrangement or work on composing and not bother about the mix because it will make your attention go to picking the right sounds and making them work instead of make trying to make everything work with EQing and you know cutting the low end at 121 hertz exactly it's so exactly. uncreative you know yeah I, you can sometimes yeah. get like caught up in the mix yeah and it can take away from the creativity and then believe me I still do this as well so yeah, yeah me too. Talk of experience here. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you just end up with a drum loop and you never never finish it. It's yeah. mixed really well, but there's nothing to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's in my case anyway. So you know, I find the best tracks just uh are written in one session. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's uh the same, you know, the best tracks are, are like made in a day mixed somewhere in the week after you know and then uh, i like to go make a mix in the morning my ears are fresh i actually make two mixes of tracks because then i have choice you know if you make only one mix you don't have a choice but if you make two you can at least pick one of the uh, one of the two and send it to your friends and they'll say oh number two or number one and then you can work on the the one that everybody picked and try to update it more and then then you have a final track so i think setting these um these sessions aside for it is great, you know? Well, I'm just looking at this uh, studio computer and Sunday Sunset is on version 4.1. Wow, there you go. So, yeah, yeah. So that, uh, that took quite a lot of mixes, actually. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, me and Ari are busy on Worth It and we're now on oh, that track that we were making. Oh, there's the cat. Hey, Lazy, you're on TV. <laughs> So um, he always comes in my tutorials as well. And then I'm recording and then he, I forget he's in the room and suddenly he jumps at the desks and arms all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but um, but yeah, yeah, we're also working on a new track this uh, uh, called Worth It. And, you know, we are at version 7 now, actually. Wow. Yeah, you want to hear it? Yeah, please. I have it open. Maybe I should share my screen. Let's see if I can. I was going to say, I wouldn't mind seeing the uh, Schwarzenegger as well. Oh, yeah, to, to see the, the, the tips. To re release everything. Oh, the, the cat's like really. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can uh, go back to Zoom. There we go. And then I share my screen. Do you want me to stop sharing? No, I, I think uh, I can just overrule you. <laughs> I'm the boss. Okay, then <laughs> move this down. Uh, and then I should maybe. Uh, can you, can you see it like this? Do you see my screen? Mm -hmm. See, it says report a yeah, crash because yeah, yeah. I had like a, a little crash. So, yeah, so people should be able to see this now. People at home, do you see the track as well? <laughs> Mel here says manual swinger. <laughs> 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 so this, this is the new one, actually. Uh, let's see if you can hear it. Heard it for like one second. Yeah, on the on the story. There we go. Again. It keeps disappearing. Yeah. That's too bad that you don't see it. Uh, let me try again. Stop share and share screen and share. Maybe I share just this with you. 
Like this. Can you now see it? Yeah. I hear it. This is a big project. Look at all the returns, you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so and the, the cool thing is this Tantra, you know, this is a tip from uh, from Joko last time, this Tantra, oh, I don't have it on there anymore, I think I, uh, uh, the Tantra is amazing, man, it's it's, yeah. it's it's ridiculous, do you have it? No, but I want to make a note. Yeah, <laughs> you should definitely, phone. yeah, you should definitely get it, man, it's ridiculous. How can I get you in here as well, because now my, my face is here, um, I'm puzzled by this Zoom and... Uh, can I just drag you here? No. Now people can't see you. That's not nice. I want to see. Hmm. Tantra. Yeah, Tantra. It's a great plugin. It's like a modulator kind of unit. It's insane. It's so good. It's uh, it's like, I can maybe show it to people, you know, uh, show you as well. This is ridiculous. So if you hold shift, by the way, if you have a template and you hold shift, it will open normally in your without any uh any any um extra things like your template okay so this is ableton 11 by the way have you seen the new features what do you think uh, no. no haven't seen it oh man it's 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 great but the only thing is they put the audio effects all in in uh in folders and oh, now, that's weird yeah because now i'm looking for let's say okay i want to look for auto pen where is auto pen ah Pitch and modulation. So it, for me, it's hard to remember in which folder they were. So that's a bit of a of a thing. Let me let me show you Tantra, man. You got to get this thing. You know, so make a, a saw and uh, just add another saw. And uh, there you go. Maybe there we go. Maybe add some chorus, reverb chorus. That always works. Uh, see now, chorus is modulation. Oh, I see. This is the new chorus with ensemble and the vibrato. Let's see. I use the old chorus a lot in my tracks. They have vibrato. Yeah, the chorus, I use it all the time, the classic chorus, you know. So uh, chorus, uh, they have a new reverb as well, uh, which is the hybrid reverb. Cool. And uh, you can blend between like a convolution and uh, uh, an algorithm one. Wow, they're getting in depth now. Yeah, and they have shimmer as well, you know. And you can the tail. You can like have the tail sort of like modulate the, the tail of the shimmer. It's 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 insane. So okay, so we have this sound right. And if I play just the pad, it's it's just the pad, right? So but if you take this tantra guy and Joko, I cannot thank you enough for this tip because you just take a preset here, whoop, and then play. You know, wow. I'm, just, I'm just playing a chord. Oh, nice. It's insane. Here. I've been I've been hammering this thing the past few so weeks. It's this is a combination of loads of different things. Filter to distortion. Yeah, it's a bit flanger. like... Yeah, it's a bit like sh sugar, sugar by the Factrix, you know? You remember that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, and the stutter edit made by Brian Eno. Remember that one? Isotope stutter edit. No, no, Brian Eno made that, yeah. Yeah, I think he was involved in the, the making, but these all these presets, it's ridiculous, man. It's like a, a rhythmic modulator. I'm just playing a chord. That's insane. <laughs> That's sick. This, hey, this, this is Origin. You need to make one with this preset. Mm. And you have a dry wet, you know, you can... I, I don't even know half what it does yet. I, and you have these dices, so you can change up, change the delay. You know, it's like, it, I love Dices, you know, it creates more stuff. Also, um, if you wreck now, if you make a wreck, you have these uh, macros, right? Yeah. And you can actually add more macros. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, and then it doesn't stop there. You can actually make them, you can make variations, you know? So if you map stuff to your to your synth, to your attack the case, sustain release, and to your filters, you can actually do multiple variations. You know, you can say, okay, I want to have this. Oh, I, have, I need to map some stuff, maybe like this. Let's keep it simple. And then you say, okay, I want to make a new one. And it's like this, and then you can snapshot it, and you can make a new one. 
and put it like this and snapshot it. Oh, so they're like presets. And, and then, yeah, exactly. And now this other certified trainer from, I th think from France, made like a morphing Max for Life device that actually they morph into the next variation. This is, this is oh, going to be wow, super... That's that's techy man yeah that's super techy but it's also you know if you have more macros you can just say okay i'm, I'm just going to go to different variation and create all these different sort of yeah presets from my macros it's ridiculous so yeah. in depth yeah yeah oh yeah somebody says if you hold command your folders stay open i know but still it's not on <laughs> alphabetic uh, uh oh yeah i thought bt oh yeah it's not brian eno it's bt worked on stutter edit yeah yeah i remember bt <laughs> thanks jameson for Sick. correcting me on that <laughs> yeah so this is uh this is nice and you want to you want to see the the schwarzenegger as well right yes please uh, do i have it on here i think yeah i have it i need to go load it up let's see documents does it work hello oh yeah it's just a bit slow it has so much to do. It has the stream. Here's all my Ableton folders from like, I even got older than 2008. So I come back. Did to... I see? Oh, yeah. It's... Fucking hell, man. Yeah, it's nice. I can go back. This is even my, my old archive to logic tracks, even, you know, and reason tracks from 1998. It sounds ridiculous. And, uh, but ev actually, everything is well. Like, if I go to 2003, there, you know, Ableton projects, there's like all the tracks that I made back then with. Like all, everything that I made, you know, and then with friends, you know, all this thing. I think we also worked on uh, Viva. Here is Viva. I think we also worked on a project together, right? Uh, which we were wanting to do on Viva, but we never actually finished or got to it to do it, you know? Funny, we started like a project. That, that, that must have been a while ago. It's it's probably like six or seven years ago. I don't know, man. We're, we're getting old. <laughs> Swatchinator. <laughs> there it is. Schwarzenegger Detroit sound. Yeah, I started with some kind of thing here. New bass. Oh man, I was struggling with this bass. Like, uh, so I think this is this is the project, and it's also very simple, man. Like, I don't think uh, I use mostly like the, um, the 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 Ableton stuff, and then with an occasional uh, VST plug in here and there. But let's let's see. Yeah, I really like the swing of the drums on this. The hi-hats have got energy. Oh, yeah. I worked on these hi-hats a lot. This was actually when I built my new template, I think. You know, this is like, um, like the hi-hats. Oh, the, the vintage warmer, PSP. That thing yeah, is yeah, man. I, I've been using it for more than a day. It's always on my master, the PSP yeah. vintage warmer. I love that thing. I do use that from time to time. Yeah, yeah. It's great. So, yeah. So, here. So, the drums, right? Yeah, these are the drums. And you'll see that... Like, I, I like the, uh, this is a tip I got from Ari, you know, this is uh, uh, the um, Abbey Road vinyl, and you just pull down the crackle and it clicks, and you just open the depth a bit, so it actually makes your heights a bit less uh, digital or something, you know? And you wouldn't put that on the master? Just, no, I put this put on, the on the, drum, the, uh, on the drum drums, bus. yeah, so on the drum bus, I have a drum bus, and this Abbey Road, so if I turn them off, like... Yeah, I'm not sure if it get, just gets louder. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds good. <laughs> I actually can't hear anything. The sound disappeared. Oh, let me share again. Stop share. New share. We can just do it again. Here we go. It's funny that we do this show and now I'm showing my project. Well, it's on your label, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> For people watching, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it is logical. <laughs> so here we have these... Uh, we're just hanging out here. It's nice. We should do this more often. <laughs> yeah, so I, what I did, I, I had this uh, this Hyatt, and I just added the warm tube to it, you know, and there's, like, I think the Pro-Q, just a little bit of uh, equalizing. But I, I think, you know, the, the the thing with these Hyatts, I... I, I and they're moving. I, I use a lot of these LFOs on... Uh, and, and Me too. Yeah, because it makes it more drifting, sort of, you know? Yeah, ways of getting movement. Yeah, exactly. And then also like having this attack slowly change. So it's, you know, and then with the... And the high, open height also gets a bit thinner because the the filter's going up and down. And and then there's just the lame old top loop. You know, I think this is the guy. Don't even know where. J-H-A. Don't even know where from. Added some toms. That's it, you know, and everything. I'm thinking, is... um, 
Maybe if I turn this laptop around, yeah, I might be able see. to show you. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this is any use. <laughs> well, why not? Yeah, I or, could maybe play some bits from Sunday Sunset next. But doesn't that one have uh, internet then, or so? It does, but there's no webcam. Ah, there's no webcam. Um, yeah, you could. Um, but that doesn't matter. Then we don't see you, but you could share your screen on that one. So if you log into the same Zoom call from that computer, then we can make it work. Okay. That's that's great. And here's the patch. Here's the patch of uh, of the of the lead of the. Um, let's see. Uh, this is the. the oh, I thought it was. Oh, yeah. Here's the lead. It's this this. Wave table. Basic shapes with some FM synthesis. I love this FM feature here. This guy and. Um, Echoes, retro. I love this retro section. And then just, yeah, moving the filter and that, that's it. Some EQ. <laughs> yeah, I, I mostly use Ableton stuff as well. I don't I don't go really fancy with... Uh, I, I use Diva now a lot, but most of this is all... Um, uh, it's all this, you know. Nice. So, so now you're probably joining under the other... Let me see if we can go to Zoom. Um, I think you maybe leave the laptop going so I can speak to you. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, is that going to work? I think so. Yeah, let's okay. see. Uh, I also have to arrange this in my Ecamm Live. <laughs> so let's see. How does just create bass lines? How do you create bass lines, uh, Josh? Again, it really changes every time from uh, operator a lot of the time, or I use this Waldorf a lot. Ah. What was Blowfield. Ah, Blowfield. Oh, you have the one with the keys on it. I've only seen mm -hmm. the the small version. Ah, interesting. Yeah, there's some nice bass sounds on there. Yeah. Waldorf. Okay, watch me twitch. I'd love to see Josh make some bass lines. <laughs> <laughs> He's really into your bass lines. Nice. <laughs> I'm also curious. Uh, let's see. Good evening, everybody. See you next time. Ah. Okay, Kevin is gone. Hey, Jean-Michel is online. Nice. All right, so um, oh yeah, you're booting up the other guy. So let me give you access. Launch the meeting. Yeah, then I have two Joshes on the show. <laughs> That's great. Uh, let's see what we have. Roland Cloud, yeah. Electribe. Roger Rogers said Michael James, he says. Ah, I should get him on the show. I don't know Michael yeah, James. Yeah, Michael James. Yeah, you know him? I have, I've, I've partied with him before, but I never met him. Yeah. Well, partying is a is a good thing to do together. Oh, sorry, not. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, I have met him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but not uh, like very, very briefly. I don't know him well, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've parted with him. Yeah, the people say a lot, like, "Oh, you should get this person on the show." But I say, "Yeah, I don't know him." You know, it's hard to get people on the show. You don't know. You don't know if you're vibing. You know, I need to also like feel chill and and just you know hang out online. It's uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, it's pretty intense. <laughs> Uh, I'll, mm, I'll not looking it. good, to be honest. Okay, I'll ask. Not you. working. No. Um, how do you, how to connect Core Chaos Pad to Patch Bay and then to an interface? Um, yeah, well, you can take the uh, you can use the Core Chaos Pad as a um, it has a dry wet, so you can use it as a uh, as an effect basically. So if you put a hundred percent wet, you can just send it input, and the output will only be effect. So then you can use it as a send. A return if you have a mixer or because i used to have the soundcraft mixer but um uh yeah it's, it's basically the same like you would use a return channel in ableton so yeah okay so uh how are you feeling men at work down under remix what people are just having chats <laughs> all right yeah. so maybe um yeah maybe just we use this computer maybe you you want to yeah but i can probably talk you through some of the things because i'm just looking at the project and uh I've recorded like car keys and stuff. I've, I've gone quite, I've gone to town with this project. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, with, with the microphone, I've got yes. it there, like a Rode NT2A. Nice. Um, I think I put it on omnidirectional and, and just got like a set of car keys. and. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great. So let me see if I can yeah. play that, play some samples maybe. If you take yeah, it. yeah, it's nice. Nice to hear. Oops. Do you do that more often that you that you like uh use like foley sounds? Yeah, exactly, like foley. Yeah, yeah. 
Foley's great, you know. It, I should do that more. I've got this Tascam DR40, you know, and I I should take it more on the road and get one of these these sort of like um, covers They're for it. Proof. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. They're wicked. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So here we go. Uh, this is some field recordings. It's like Santa Claus coming to town. <laughs> So there's that kind of thing in the background, it's just there's ambience. And then a lot of ambience in this track, things like this. Oh, wow. So that was a, a Rhodes piano from Contact that I've bounced out of the computer and through the reverb that I showed you before, oh, you know, wow. the event -ide. Yeah, yeah, nice. And then I think it's it's reversed as well by the sound of it. A lot of sound design in this one. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you know these these add this character you need to the track. You know something something out of the ordinary, not your basic. Um, so one track can be super loopy, and one track can be really like a super huge project. You know, with all these different things. Yeah, I've also used um, the Korg M1. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see what that element is. Some strings. Classic string sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This M1 is great for it. You know, uh, Joko showed this patch, uh, this like classic house patch in the 90s, like really this uh, show me love. Uh, like, to, that to, rated to, piano. To, to, yeah, exactly. Yeah, or like, no, this, this like. Yeah, the organ bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one is like typically 90s. So the M1 yeah, is great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Hey, speaker wise, there you have this. You have the Yamahas, is the Yamahas and Genelex there. That's right. Yeah, they're the small Genelex. Yeah, they're, they're amazing actually. And uh, I only bought them this year when I moved the studio back home um, because the room's a lot smaller. Yeah, I thought that the Yamahas might be too bassy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, yeah, I was right. I use the Genelex a lot more these days. Yeah. Good, good shout. And also, because I used to have these Mackies in a room that were way too big for the room, you know. But I, I managed, though. But it's still, it's better to get some small ones then. And these Genelex are super neutral, right? It's hard to to get it really vibey on there. So that actually makes you work, I think, a lot. You yes, know? Yeah. It, it's true. I think that was the case with the old Yamahas back in the day as well. You know, the NS10s. Yeah, yeah. People used to say they were so flat, there was just they sounded a bit shit yeah 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 <laughs> and so it really took some going to to make it pop yeah exactly. and that's when you know the mix is good because if it sounds good on on ns10s then it will sound everywhere yeah 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 these days you have sonarworks to do that for you it makes everything sound <laughs> yeah, flat, you know, but it, it crashes your system when you're streaming though <laughs> hey and uh do you do any lessons with somebody asking how uh does just offers one-on-one -on -one sessions do you actually did you actually do some I, I did a, a tool room uh, tutorial. It's like, a, I've actually done two with tool room, the tool room Academy. So we do do like, uh, I think one of them's like three hours. Yeah. I did one this year, which was just an hour yeah. from this home studio. And um, again, just talking through making tracks from yeah. scratch. Yeah. Really. Nice. Yeah. And uh, Fader Pro also, you did, uh, did, did one there. That's like more track. Fader Pro. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what? Yeah, the the longer one is with Fader Pro, and then oh, yeah. uh, the hour long. It's a tour. More, um, it was like a lockdown one, quarantine yeah. session type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been That's doing a lot of this stuff, right? I, I also this podcast you recently did with uh, this guy. Can't remember his. Will. Yeah, Will Clark. Yeah, super nice guy. You had like I, I was cooking and I had your podcast on, you know, about you you guys chatting. It's really nice. Yeah, Will's a legend. Yeah, he's he's one of the good guys, mate. I've, Bumped into him a lot on the road. Yeah, yeah. He was living in Detroit for quite a few years. Yeah. So um, when I was in Detroit, I'd meet up with him and he'd cook me dinner and stuff. It was, it was wicked. Well, this guy has a lot of tracks. What did he say? He had like 90 tracks or something. He had like 70 tracks ready. <laughs> right? It's, He's busy. Yeah, it's like, wow. You know, having like 70 tracks ready is a lot, dude. I have like... Uh, maybe 150 ideas but to have them really ready you know it's uh, it's uh, yeah maybe 20 <laughs> you know and then yeah. i still need to work on them you know yeah that's yeah, cool 
All right. So, um, yeah, maybe I don't know if there's any more questions. We still have quite some people online. So um, I don't know if you have any questions. Let's play our last, um, the last track from the release. That's uh, we're going to be dropping this on Friday, right? On uh, on Orange. I'm really, right. really happy this is coming out. And Aries as well. You know, we sent you a nice uh, video from the studio last weekend. Like uh, we were busy on the next show. Like, ah, oh, you got to meet Josh. It's like, ah, oh, let me call you. <laughs> it's <laughs> so funny. You know, the studio is vibing. All right, let's play Falling. Yeah. So, well, if all goes to plan, I'll yeah. be able to play some in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, because you're uh, you're going there, right? And there, there it's still open, right? The, the whole thing, you know. Yeah. How is it? Well, it, it did it did close down for for a few weeks, but they've managed to contain it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, man, I'm going to be playing like eight different gigs. Wow. Over three months. Wow. So at least you get to play the new releases. You know, that's super nice. Finally, yeah. Oh, yeah it's <laughs> awesome. So. So uh, yeah, everybody sent your promos to Josh. He's gonna play gigs. <laughs> yeah, like I said, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be in the quarantine for two weeks, yeah. so I'm just gonna be listening to demos and making my own music. Yeah, yeah. So people should send. Well, everybody that's watching, you know, uh, send it over. Still 40 people online, so uh, send over your demos. And so uh, with Origins Records, abbreviated demo. Origins Records demos at gmail.com. Origins Records de Demos at gmail.com. Wow, that's a long name. <laughs> it is a long name. It's a bit of a, a mouthful, but yeah. no, I don't really know what else to put. <laughs> no, it keeps the crap out, you know. That's, that's also, you know, needs to be a bit tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, man, thanks a lot for, for this session. It was a bit messy. I had some technical problems in the beginning, but uh, it's all good. And, uh, yeah, it's nice. I hope people... Um, got something from it you know we, they, they saw us uh hanging out here this is not always nice <laughs> so uh yeah and uh, you're leaving next week right to uh to new zealand so um yeah uh, i don't want to say for definite yet because yeah. you just never know at the moment do you yeah yeah true things can change like the wind yeah so, um, but yeah man yeah fingers crossed yeah <laughs> man, that it goes on yeah and what's the next thing so uh, uh the release um uh we have uh, mine and ari's release on friday what's what's next for uh for origins what's coming up origins after? we're going to release um in the new year then we're going to release at the start of january um a relatively new artist called maneuver but oh, he's another old friend of man. mine i've known uh, his name's andy lee um yeah, he has released some tracks under the name Andy Lee, but now he started this maneuver thing. Andy Lee, hmm. you, you might have met Andy at ADE or something. Ah. Me, me, I think you met him with me at ADE last year. No, it could be, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Andy, yeah. Andy and Matty, two guys that were with me last year. Oh no, I think maybe before when we went to Awakenings, was this this crew or that's what that's no, that's not last year. Last year we had dinner with the Muir, and that's it, yeah. I think, and. Oh, maybe not. But I spent no. a lot of time with Andy and, oh, and Matty. Year. Yeah, uh, last year I didn't see you anymore. We just had the dinner and I think that's it. Yeah. So anyway, they're going to be releasing yeah. in, in January. Yeah, um, nice. We're looking forward. Yeah, man, there's a lot planned, actually. Then we've got something from Timmy P, uh, who I've been playing his music for, for years since I started making music. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. Have you Are you familiar with Timmy? No, no not at all. Timmy P. Timmy P, yeah, uh, so I think he's from Oxford or some Cambridge or something. Very UK, uh, UK sounding stuff. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. But cool. he's been making music. You know, when we first met. Yeah. Um, wow. Through make it hot, Timmy yeah. was making music around the same time then. Ah, uh, cool. Ah, we're gonna dig in, Timmy P. 
Cool name. Yeah, Ma- do, man. There's some wicked tunes. Yeah, and Maneuver. I really like the name Maneuver. Still nobody <laughs> called Maneuver. That's great, you know. Maneuver is a great name. Yeah, I saw I saw that Joko has a new name. What was it? Funk really? Funk Module. He was making lounge. I saw it on this store Instagram story. Funk Module. I was like, Oh, I'm glad he's making lounge music. Yeah, that, yeah, it sounded that really sounds jazzy. Like translate really nicely. Yeah, yeah, really jazzy stuff, and uh, I think it's nice. Yeah, but it's cool to to explore other other things, and I think this is really the time that people actually dive into other stuff as well. You know, uh, it's there's never been a better time for it now. But yeah, it's still weird that you make these track you're releasing this music but nobody can actually play it out so it's so weird that you won't get a oh you know uh this and this artist is playing my track or this and this. you know you, you usually get these videos sent from people but it's impossible i actually saw andy daniel uh i don't know if you're familiar with andy he used to work at defected uh, now works at ffrr oh wow but he put, he put a tweet up saying he was going to do a compilation of all the best music from 2020 and he's going to release it like next year. So, because yeah. there's so much amazing music being missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's it. You know, you're going to get a time. You know, this is going to be a year. Where people are going to dig, okay, what's, what's released in 2020? I need to get some of that. Nobody's playing Hidden that shit. Yeah, 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 exactly. There might be super, <laughs> super nice stuff out there, which nobody ever heard because it wasn't played out, you know? So it's, because at the moment when it opens, you're going to hear the most recent stuff, you know? So the, the one that plays everything from 2020 is going to get all the gems. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, cool. Nice. I'm looking forward to when it's opening up, man. It's 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 weird with this vaccine and all, and it's, pr- it's probably going to take a bit more time, but when it opens up, man, this rave is going to be insane. I hope we're going to be... Oh. At this. You know, there's lots of positive talks now. I think there's, what, like three potential vaccines, and I know that Ibiza have got quick response testing yeah or like quick uh, result testing so yeah. for for a, in, for a there anyway yeah that's four possibilities of opening up yeah we might so. be we might be uh, we might be really close when everything opens up that's gonna be yeah it's gonna be super <laughs> 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 already looking forward man it's gonna be insane likewise yeah so uh yeah man let's uh I'll, let's leave it uh at this uh, thank you so much for being on the show again and again also thank for this release man it's it's great to, to be on there and uh spark yeah, spark well. my creativity back up so that's really nice mate you know i've been playing your records like since you sent me them years ago, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got. If I type your name into my search bar, fucking tons of stuff comes. You up. You probably it's- have a lot of stuff that I've never released because I think we we've been sending stuff over a lot. Also, yeah, yeah. So you probably have a lot of stuff I've never actually released. You know, there's a, yeah, my, my well, robot, I'm, you know? I'm glad we can finally do one and yeah, uh, yeah. Do more. Yeah, thank you, man. I'm working on the next one, so um, they're probably gonna maybe hit Darius up, like, hey, maybe maybe release something there, or you know, just see if we, if I can get it on, on another cool uh, cool label, you know, something. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah, 100% yeah. That, man. yeah. I will working on it with Ari together. So, uh, yeah, man. All right, have a great night, everybody. Thank you for watching, and um, yeah, we'll see you soon, and uh, we'll be in touch. Uh, have a good travel to New Zealand if I don't speak to you anymore. Thanks a lot. Cheers, everyone. See yeah, you later. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Um, thank you for watching. It was a bit messy. You know, we had some technical difficulties in the beginning, but it's always fun to talk to Josh. Next week, I have Alvaro Suarez. He's a violin player and an uh, amazing artist. And um, uh, then we have a, uh, the remix competition the week after. There's a remix competition going for Lessons in Life where you can still join. You have uh, three days to make the track. It's a remix for pursuit records of Ropez, who is um, a more melodic uh, techno artist and if you want to join that uh, that contest you can still do it follow the lessons in live group and uh, thank you so much for watching i hope you've you've gained something from it uh, check out the lessons in uh, i have a nice platform uh, i do these interviews with lots of artists i have tutorials preset packs check out the website and check out the facebook group and uh, hopefully see you one of the platforms or one in the next show um one of the next shows and uh, thank you for tuning in i really appreciate it have a great night and have fun making music